Evolutionists claim the Earth and the universe are billions of years old. The Bible tells us that it was created 6,000 years ago. But I have a question. If the Earth is really billions of years old, then how do you explain that there's too much helium in minerals in the ground? You see, recent research has shown that helium trapped in zircon crystals from hot Precambrian rock has not had the time for the helium to escape from the rock. The rocks supposedly contain one and a half billion years worth of nuclear decay products. However, the fact of the matter is we now see that they only have enough helium for 6,000 years. Interesting, isn't that? And so if the Earth was in fact created 6,000 years ago, that is exactly what you expect to find. And if the Earth is billions of years old, how do you explain that the continents are not all at the equator? You see, the Earth is simply spinning too fast for the Earth to be old. The fact of the matter is that if the Earth were, say, four and a half to five billion years old, well, the Earth's rotation rate would increase as we go back in time. Today it is decreasing at 1.4 to 1.8 milliseconds per century, but that means that 2.6 billion years ago, the Earth would have been rotating 14% faster than today. If, in fact, the Earth were, say, 4.6 billion years old, well, the rotation rate would be 1.35 times the current speed and rotate it 460 days per year, only about half as old as evolutionists claim the Earth is. And if we continue to go back in time, what happens? Well, if the Earth really came into existence in a molten state and it is spinning rapidly, I mean, after all, think with me, if it were spinning 400, 450 uh, days per year, much faster than now, then that means that that molten material would all be sorted along the equator and we would have two great oceans, one at the top, one at the bottom. You really can trust the Bible.